I'm with Alexa. If you may recognize her, she's from Going to Leave. Oh, that was that. That was But yeah, I'm going to transform this look into a more stronger, smoky eye for nighttime. If you want to see how I did this look, it is on her channel. So I'll link it down below once we both uploaded it. Yeah. So yeah. So if you want to see how I can transform this to a more party, sultry, party. yeah, <laughs> more mature. Yeah. <laughs> then please keep on watching. If it's not obvious enough, it's going to be a voiceover tutorial. Okay, so I'm going to start with applying tape on the sides of her eyes to help me create a crisp line with the eyeshadow. Make sure that it is equal because it can be quite difficult when you get it wrong. Um, also make sure that the tape is not too sticky because it can hurt her when you remove it later. To deepen and darken the eyeshadow a bit, I'm using a brown matte eyeshadow from Smashbox in M1. So I'm just using a small fluffy brush to apply it on the outer V and then slowly building it up. As you can see, I'm just applying a very light hand onto it because I don't want to apply a dark shade right away because it can be hard to erase if I don't like the opacity that I have done. So I'm just slowly building it up, slowly adding and adding more color into it. Next is I'm using a matte black eyeshadow from the same palette to create a smoky wing, connecting it from the outer V towards the inner half of her crease. Once again, just slowly building it up to the op opacity that you would like. Just keep adding as much as you want and you can just stop anytime once you get the shade that you would like. I didn't want it to be too black but I do wanted it to be quite dark. So don't forget to keep blending and blending. I just reached onto the brush that I used before this with a matte brown color so that I can just blend the colors at the same time. Slowly, slowly remove the tape and as you can see it's so sharp so if you're having a hard time making this kind of eyeshadow this is a trick for you and yeah like Alexa was so amazed by it she was like oh if looks can kill because it was so sharp like the knife so moving on to your lower lashes I'm using the same brown matte eyeshadow from Smashbox as well Using a very fat, um, dense brush, I'm reaching onto my Wet n Wild Highlight and Contour Palette, and I'm using that milky shade right there to emphasize the highlight of the inverted triangle of the cheeks and also the T-zone area. Okay, a little reminder about this product is use a tiny amount because it really goes a long way. As in, a little amount can spread na to the cheeks very very well and it is also quite opaque so make sure you don't use a lot because you're gonna look like an espasol if you use a lot so just a little reminder for you the liquid eyeliner pen that I'm using for today is the Maybelline Master Graphic it literally looks like a pencil pen so even Alexa finds it weird looking but it does the trick very well it will give you a very straight line for when you do a winged eyeliner so I suggest that you try it but this is only found in America so if you do find it somewhere else then go try it for yourself although it's not waterproof but other than that it's amazing
applying a brown eyeliner to the lower rims to make the eyes a little more defined but not too defined as when I use a black one. This is a brown eyeliner from Essence and it's really really good. I have had this for the longest time and it's still pretty creamy. Very easy to work with. You can smudge it so easily and I just I just really like it. The black and brown one is my favorite. For the daytime look that I did for Alexa, I didn't really use a mascara on their lower lashes. But now since I want a smokier look, I'm adding some with the Benefit Roller Lash. Oh, diba? May effect talaga siya. Especially if you don't want your eyes to close up with all the eyeliners that you applied. Oh, oh diba? Oh, work it. <laughs> yeah, so moving on to the lashes, which is the best part of the whole look. I'm using the Wispy Lashes. I'm gonna put the number down below. So yeah, I'll let this explain with my brushes. But yeah, so far we're almost done and moving on to the contour. Um, I didn't actually use a contour before this look. I just bronzed her up a bit, but I'm going to add some now. I'm using the middle color for the Anastasia Beverly Hills Light to Medium Palette. And I'm just going to deepen her cheekbones, basically. You know, she doesn't really need it because she's very young and I don't want to make her look too, like, old or mature looking. But I still want some definition around her face. And I'm also just fading it parang to make a wider like depth not just like a line and also don't forget of course the the jawline and blending it downwards to the neck so for her nose contour I'm using a fluffy brush because I don't want it too sharp I don't want her nose line to be too defined so I'm parang making it quite soft and smoked compared to just a line, you know what I mean? So, I'm using the same shade that I used from the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. And she has beautiful nose. I mean, can you just tell? She doesn't really need it, but of course, to complete the look, I'd have to add it. And for the highlight, like every other girl's necessity now, it's broken, I'm sorry. But it is from Becca in Champagne Pop. And it is popping, as you can see. That's only one application, and it is already popping. Guys, oh, it's amazing! My goodness. Okay, anyway, so I'm just applying it on the tops of her cheekbones, you know, like where you're supposed to put it. Also, applying a tiny, tiny bit on the bridge of her nose and to the cupid's bow, just for a luminous look. For the lips, I'm using this brown nude. Um, lip liner from Pinky's collection and for me it's the perfect parang mocha brown nude shade for her skin color at least it's just so pretty and so creamy so you can just use it as a lipstick okay she's laughing because it looked funny pag sa upper lip lang parang naka mustache but yeah so the lip color is creamy enough to be a lipstick so I don't have to add anything on top of it it's really beautiful and so affordable Oh, and by the way, I overlined her lips a little bit because she wanted bigger lips. But of course, let's not exaggerate. She's only 16. And I'm going to make it as natural as possible. So if you want her lips to be very crispy and perfect, just clean it up with some Q-tips or some concealer. To finish the whole look, I'm just adding some clear lip gloss from NYX. It's just so beautiful, so I really had to add it. So this is the final look from day makeup to a nighttime makeup. Very glamorous, very mature. Very Kylie Jenner. Yeah, very Kylie Jenner. You know, major peg namin from Taylor Hill to Kylie Jenner. With the big lips. Yeah. But uh, I can't super overdo it. Yeah. She's only 16. <laughs> so this is really nice. Not yeah. pang shoot, not pang event. I also do makeup, so if you need <laughs> yeah. service. Message me or whatever on Instagram, Facebook, whatever. So yeah, we did a collaboration on her channel. So the day makeup is going to be there. So please watch it. <laughs> I also did a makeup, but more of her bag. This is kind of my bag, but she likes it. I do so much. So it works well. So please like, 
comment and subscribe and pass this on to people who you know that would want this look. That's it. Bye. God bless. Good. Have a good day.